Now let us discuss the formation of stationary waves in an open organ pipe. An open organ pipe or simply an open pipe is, is, is a cylindrical pipe at which both the ends are open to atmosphere because none of the ends is closed. So which means the waves, the sound waves can vibrate in any direction, even in the horizontal direction. Clear? Which means there is no restriction of no restriction of waves at the ends. If there is no restriction, always anti nodes are formed at the ends. Clear? So that is the first point. In an open organ pipe, the, at the ends, always anti nodes are formed. These anti nodes are reserved for the ends of the or open organ pipe. No chance that is nodes are formed. Clear. So, so let's discuss about the first mode of vibration. First mode of vibration. For the first mode of vibration, let's let's think like this. For first mode, there is only one node between the ends. For the second mode, there are two two nodes between the ends of the pipe. We will discuss that later. First, but just consider for the nth mode, nth mode, the number of nodes formed in between the ends will be n. Clear. For example, if the four, if it, if it is the fourth mode of vibration, number of nodes formed between the ends will be n. Clear. In the stretch the string, it is n minus one. Okay. We discussed that before. Now let us consider the first mode of vibration. As I said, a node is formed between, for first mode, a node is formed between the ends. So the wave will be something like this. Clear, the stationary waves is like this. And the node, and, and the node is formed here. Clearly we know the distance between an anti node and a node is lambda by 4. For the first mode, let us write lambda by 4. This also is equal to lambda by 4. Lambda 1 by 4. But you know this that this is the total length of the open organ pipe. And if you if you compare these two, you will get 2 times lambda 1 by 4 is equal to total length of the pipe. Lambda 1 by 4 plus lambda 1 by 4 equal to L. That is equal to, you can cancel this, it will be 2 implies lambda 1 is equal to 2L. Okay, let's call that as equation number 1. But you know the frequency, the first frequency or the frequency of the first mode of vibration equal to velocity of the sound waves divided by wavelength lambda 1. That is equal to V divided by lambda 1 is 2L. So this F1 is equal to V by 2L. This frequency F1 is called the fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency. Or we can say that as first harmonic. First harmonic. Fundamental frequency or the first harmonic. Also you have f1 v equal to for a sound wave we have the speed of the longitudinal waves is always gamma p divided by rho where gamma is the specific heat ratio p is the uh, pressure and rho is the density we already derived this formula before i'll put that in the link in the description below therefore you have v1 is equal to the fundamental frequency f1 is equal to instead of v you can put root of gamma p divided by rho divided by 2l or this can be written as f1 equal to 1 by 2l root of gamma p divided by rho this is the expression for the fundamental frequency of a open organ pipe. Now let's discuss about the second mode of vibration.
that is the second mode of vibration and you know for the second mode as i said before second second mode of vibration we have the number of nodes formed will be 2 number of nodes will be 2 that is for second mode n equal to 2 so here it is and e node and e node and two nodes are formed in between the and e nodes so it will be like this Okay, here it is node, here it is anti node, here it is node again, here it is anti node. Now we have or we already have set the distance between an anti node and node will be lambda by 4. So here it is for the second mode we have lambda 2 divided by 4. Always remember for the second mode number of modes between number of nodes between the ends will be 2 clear so this again is lambda 2 by 4 this is also lambda by 2 lambda 2 divided by 4 this also is lambda 2 divided by 4 okay now you know this is the total length of the pi and if you compare these two lengths you will get that 4 times lambda 2 divided by 4 because there are 4 lambda 2 by 4 is equal to length or you can cancel this lambda for 4 and 4 you will get lambda 2 is equal to L. Now you can write the frequency that is we have the frequency the frequency of the second mode of vibration is the velocity divided by wavelength that is equal to v divided by l so the second frequency f2 is equal to you can write this as 2 into v by 2l clear so this is equal to f2 is equal to 2 into you can write this way and you know v by 2l is the fundamental frequency you know f1 is equal to we already derived that v by 2 okay that is the second second for the second mode of vibration or we will say that this is the first overtone this frequency is called the first overtone overtone or second harmonic both are the same See, if it is third mode of vibration, then we will say that second overtone. Okay. So, this is equal to F2 equal to 2F1. Or you can write F2. F2 is equal to 2 into F1. We know we already derived that as 1 by 2L root of gamma t divided by rho and you can cancel this 2 and this 2 you will get f2 is equal to 1 by l 1 by l root of gamma t divided by rho clear so these are the different formulas for f2 now let us discuss about the third mode of vibration third mode of vibration third mode of vibration and let's say what is the for third mode of vibration the number of nodes between the ends will be three so how will you draw that so here two at the ends it is handy nodes and you have three nodes in between the ends so it will be like this
Okay. So a node in here, a node in here, and another node in here. This is Andy node. This again is Andy node. And you know the distance between an Andy node and node will be lambda by 4. So here lambda 3 divided by 4. So how many lambda 3 by 4? Here also it is lambda 3 by 4. Lambda 3 by 4. Again lambda 3 by 4. Lambda 3 divided by 4. And one more lambda 3 by 4. Clear. So this the whole length will give. The whole distance will give the length of the pipe. And if you compare these two, you will get 6 times, this, there is 6 lambda 3 by 4, right? 6 times lambda 3 divided by 4 equal to L. Implies 3 lambda 3 divided by 2 equal to L. Implies lambda 3 is equal to 2L divided by 3. And we have the frequency of the third mode of vibration, velocity divided by lambda 3, which will give V divided by 2L by 3. That is F3 is equal to, this 3 will go up 3 into V divided by 2L. Clear. But you know V by 2L is the fundamental frequency. So F3 is equal to 3 F1. Clear. This F3 is called the second overtone or third harmonic. Third harmonic. Clear. And you know F3 equal to F3 is equal to 3 times we already know value of f1 1 by 2l root of gamma p divided by rho clear now if you look at the ratios of di different modes of vibration we have the fundamental frequency is to frequency of the second mode is to frequency of the third mode this is equal to you know f1 but f2 we already found that as 2 f1 for the third mode it is 3 f1 okay Cancelling this all F1, you will get the ratio as 1 is to 2 is to 3, etc. If there is a fourth mode, it is, is to 4, etc. So the ratio here also is the ratio of the natural numbers. Okay.